Hey everyone, Jim Moraitis here. Hope you're well. Today's video, I want to talk about why it is absolutely essential to clearly communicate and be proactive in what your needs are or asking for what your needs are when it comes to the assessment stage of, of getting access to support. Now, before I jump into that, I want to share a little, a little, a little situation. So I, uh, I helped a, a lovely husband and wife team out a couple of weeks ago uh, who had only who had gone through the assessment process and only been approved for very, very low entry level services. Now, their situation was quite complex. Both husband and wife had a few different health challenges uh, and had gone through the assessment process. And even though the, the situation was quite complex and they need a, lot, a, a fair bit of support, they'd only been approved for very, very entry level services and they couldn't get their head across it. So they called me up for some help. I followed up with the assessor as to why they only got assessed and approved for so, 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 so such minimal support. And the assessor told me that they can, that, that they can only go off what they've been told. Okay. So what had happened is the assessor had called the husband who the wife was the primary carer for, called the husband and the husband through the language that the, that the husband used, uh, had essentially understated the challenges that he was living with and also uh, didn't, didn't, didn't accurately portray the, 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 the level of support his wife was providing him. Okay? And because that was the case, the, the assessor didn't, didn't fully appreciate the challenges that this husband and wife team were experiencing, okay? And, and as such, only gave them low, low entry level support. That was, you know, in the, in, in, well, they got approved for what they call the Commonwealth Home Support Program, which is essentially an hour to an hour and a half of domestic assistance per fortnight. And you've still got to pay out of pocket for it as well, subsidized rate. From the time that I got involved and spoke to the assessor, then fed that information back to the husband and wife team and said, hey, you've got to get a reassessment because you, you weren't assessed properly. And this and, and, and took a moment to step them through exactly how to properly articulate their challenges so that the assessor could truly uh, appreciate that. They went from that very low entry level support to getting approved for a level three home care package. So, so just to put this in perspective, right? They got approved for this CHSP, which is the lowest of the low in terms of support. Then you have a level one home care package. Then you have a level two home care package. Then you have a level three home care package. It is the only thing higher than that is a level four, right? So they got almost the highest level. A level three home care package is $34,000 a year in government funding to put towards home care support services. Now, the reason why I, I, I'm, I'm laboring on this point is because two weeks prior, the husband had commun communicated in a certain way and barely got approved for the lowest level. And then just by properly communicating the situation, got approved for almost the highest level. It's in the space of two weeks, okay? When it comes to communicating your needs, please, please, please do not go into your assessment without preparing, okay? You need to take a moment to prepare your situation, to prepare and practice how to communicate your challenges. The assessor will only go off what you told them. So when the assessor says something like, you know, can you go, can you walk to the letterbox, for example, instead of just saying, yes, I can walk to the letterbox and stopping there and letting the assessor make their own sort of uh, judgments on that and, 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 and your level of mobility or whatever it is. You don't just say, yes, I can walk to the letterbox. You say, yes, I can walk to the letterbox. However, it really gives me challenges. I'm worried about falling. I've got these challenges. Sometimes I can't do it. Sometimes I can. When I can't, these are the impacts it has on me. You need to elaborate on the challenges that you are experiencing. Do not, re don't, do not resort to uh, the assessor understanding 
what the challenges are for you. You need to proactively communicate it. This can be hard for many people, right? It's not an easy thing to do. And that's why I've put together a step-by-step -step instructional video, which is really easy to follow, that will show you how to break it down, how to prepare for an assessment with an aged care assessor, but also how to prepare for a conversation with my aged care, which is the first step to requesting your assessment, okay? That's the first gatekeeper. My aged care, the government department, that is the first gatekeeper that you need to get through to request your assessment. You need to prepare for that as well, okay? Below this video, there is a link I might even put the link in this video as well. So if you see a button in this video, you can click that button. That will take you to a page which, where you can access the, the preparation video on how to prepare for a call with my aged care or to prepare for an upcoming assessment. Watch that video, follow the instructions, right? It's very clear, I've mapped it out, very easy to follow. I get a lot of positive feedback from those who, who do that to do those steps uh, and, and have, uh, and have uh, really, really appreciated the impact that it has. So I'll leave it at that, that will do the work and advocate for yourself. Uh, before I wrap this video up, I wanna make one more point as well. Instead of, another, another way to look at it is instead of leading the conversation uh, with an assessor with my age care, leading them about telling them about your situation, What's proving to be even more powerful is lead the conversation, start the conversation with telling the assessor or my age care what you want, okay? Tell them what support you want straight out of the gates, okay? Let that be the, the start of the conversation and then have the assessor go think to themselves, oh, this person wants this. All right, I need to ask them questions now to understand why they want that, okay? It, it's essentially flipping the conversation. Typically, the conversation goes, the assessor leads it and says, all right, tell me about your challenges. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? And then at the end of that, the assessor puts forward a suggestion on what support you need. They tell you what support you need. Turn it around. You go into the conversation straight up within the first 30 seconds and you say, hi, my name's Joe Smith. I want a home care package and I want to get five hours of support per week for somebody to come to my home to cook, to clean, to cut my garden, to take me to the shops. That's in the first 30 seconds of the conversation. The assessor will go, oh, okay. Uh, well, I need to understand why you're making those, those requests. Let me ask my question so that I can understand that. It's a total different perspective that the assessor will, will it'll, it'll, it'll force a total different mind, sh mind shift for the, for the assessor, okay? And they'll start trying to work out, trying to, trying to join the dots, okay? Um, that's proving to be very, very uh, useful for both the, the consumer, the person asking for support, as well as the assessor doing an accurate assessment. I'll leave it at that. The link is in is, is below this video or might be in this video to click that video uh, for the for the to, to help you get prepared for that conversation. Now, if you're not already a member of the Village Local Community Hub, uh, you may need to uh, uh, fill out the form to become a member. It's totally free. Everything's free on our on our website. Um, but the preparation video and a lot of other educational videos, it's in the members area. So just you know, follow the, the prompts to, 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 to fill out the, the, the membership form. It's all free, it's all instant, um, and you'll be able to do that. I'll leave it at that. Uh, yeah, reach out to us, give us a call, write us an email if you get stuck with anything or need any help. Take care, speak soon.